everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Outer Wilds. It's been a while since I've recorded recorded this uh, game, but if I remember correctly, last time we finished up basically everything we can do on Brittle Hollow, and um, now we're going to do some more investigating on... Oh, what's its bucket? It's the... Hourglass Twins, those. <laughs> Oh, I just got why they're called the Hourglass Twins. I'm a little dumb. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna resume expedition. So, there's a lab on... I think it's on... Ash Twin. No, it's on Ember Twin. Um, that we need to um, go take a look at. Wampum Cave, Sunless City, Church Camp, Lake Bed Cave. No, my name, Kaleas, mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of a dry lake bed at Amber Twins North Pole. So that's one. A sunless City. The Higher Energy Lab, that's the one we were trying to go to. And then there's the Sun Station, which we have not been to. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to fly. I'm gonna... Darn it. Hold on. <laughs> I dropped my bug because I realized it was going to make noise if I uh, kept setting it back down on my desk. And uh, it did not drop the way I wanted to. It didn't make a mess though because this mug is uh, watertight. I am not always smart, but also not always dumb. I'm so used to going to Brittle Hollow that I almost immediately booked it there. Can I? No. I want to get there as soon as possible so I can... Get in there. I get the feeling that I'm very close to the sun. Yeah, there's the gravity cannon that we kind of took a look at. There's Church Camp. Oh god. I am very close to the sun. Come on. Smooth landing as any. So we saw one of these on Brittle Hollow. Okay. Oops, forgot to. Oh, my sister turned my brightness up at some point. Anyways. So is this one in working condition? Right, there's no dash.
Translator? Sunless city, okay. So we could just go right in here. Sort of. Oh, but there's a lot. Okay. Ow! Shuttle's currently resting on the at the comet. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Let's see. Oh! This one looks a little different. Whoever was here last. Man, this thing looks like it's in good shape. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's uh, sunward side, and they descended to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't uh, know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. It's like, equip the translator. And I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, uh, maybe. So that's why this looks so different. It was on there for a good long time. It's covered in ice now. Softer landing. So, looks like we can't get in through there, which is tragic and unfortunate. Is there a way out of here then? Orbs. I wonder if that's the same crystal stuff that we use to keep things upright. That's not the right thing. Seems like there was at one point a lot of ghost matter over there. Yep, that's down. Looks like there's a pathway around there somewhere though. Potentially climb up the thing to get out of here. Would that be a good idea, though? Oh, God. No, 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 no.
Okay. Gravity here is a little funky. I don't know if I'd be able to... That just took me back around here. It's kind of interesting where, uh, like, what keeps all of the, um, all of our friends in place on the planets. For Chair, it's like, uh, they don't think that, uh, anything more can be found. Oh, I'm near the vessel. Well, not the vessel, but the escape pod that was attached to it at one point. Oh, that's a great sign. I should probably... See if I can't get... Oh, okay. So that's why the metal's all pretty colors. Because uh, it got a lot of heat when it was coming down. And therefore the metal changed colors based on that. I always found that so pretty when metal does that. Something just loaded in, or something just disappeared. Both are terrifying options. What is this? Why did he sign I'm for you to tell me he vanished without a truth. I've read this before, haven't I? Right, I'm supposed to go out this way. It's so dark down here. Oh, this is the lake bed area. Well, there should be some oxygen. Chair should have some for us and some jetpack fool. F fool? <laughs> The jetpack fool! <laughs> there are times when I wish I could just... Darn it. Oh. We're almost to the trees! have any fuel for me? I could have sworn you did. I would like to not perish. There we go. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. A question for you. I found something. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like uh, much colder giants deep. It's hard to say, but it used to be a fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. 
in its place is Dark Bramble, which how to put this grew in, into the space the fifth, the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in their solar system, such as the Adel Rock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. Makes you wonder if... Um, like, perhaps... soft landing um if perhaps even Adel Rock has the same issue that I don't know if I even get down there it's over here <laughs> I keep forgetting that there's not a dash button Kaleos is missing he vanished from the lake bed, the one at the, um, lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the lake bed at the North Pole several days ago, and were unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappear, disappeared. Ah, ah, weren't able to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I, uh, beg any friend reading this, help us recover Calais. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because our, your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in a cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? An update, Melora and I went back to the uh, cave, lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. This means the rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. We plan to re-examine the northern lake uh, lake bed. May our friendly rock meet us down there. That's kind of cute that they is. Oh, God! Oh, God! Ha ha! So currently the thing is somewhere where we've been. Oh, it changed again. <laughs> this is like a fun little game of hide and seek. Oh, um, hmm. You know, maybe I should get out of here. Hi, little buddy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <sighs> that was a little terrifying. Where's my ship?
Haha. <laughs> I've gotten so much better at physics. Oh, this is... Oops, this is Chertz. I made an oopsie. I want to see if I can't get over to Ash Twin. But first, gravity cannon. Frozen Nomai shuttle. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended inside to investigate. The Nomai landed on the interloper not long af uh, after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity f uh, field. Yeah. There's a lot more to find still. There's like a whole bunch of cave systems. God. I'll take going into this over anything else. Right, right, right. Oh. Here's our first delivery arrow. One warp core, fresh from Black Hole Forge. Find a little hollow. Then write this. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive at the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. My gratitude, Clary, with this project, the Ashwin pro uh, project, is underway. I confess I am deeply curious about what you and Pope uh, found on the Whitehall station that started this project. I Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The Whitehall station is um, the model for the towers being built uh, for the Ashwin project, so a visit to the station would be dub uh, doubly useful. I suppose more precisely I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
I'd be happy to explain our findings. Yarrow stopped using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister in romantic manners for density rose and John Star and go meet her at the Whale Station. That's really funny though. This is where I came in, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure. Where would this warp me? Would it just warp me to the other side? Oh wow, the entire uh, escape pod is buried now. Seems like there are some things you can only get. I feel like the music is gonna start. There he is! <laughs> Texted oxygen! So we're wandering across the equator, it looks like. Here's another thing. Now we're in need of a scroll. Maybe it's up here? I'd like to get this before our inevitable doom. It's just a hole in there. Where are you taking me, old buddy? Ah! Oh god. No, 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 no. Just let me in long enough that I can do the things. Ah! <laughs> So close, okay, so the to go back. <laughs> Looks like someone sent a scout scout launcher. <laughs> Up and 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 up we go. What is that? What is that? Oh god! Oh, that's a little scary. Okay, so... 
I, that must have been the quantum moon. <laughs> Looks like the sand has already started, gosh darn it. Well, I may have had a little too much momentum. Nice landing. All right. Let's try this again. Right, I have a flashlight. Stairs! We love to see stairs. The stairs means peoples. Peoples! Man, it's really hard to see. Oh. oh god. Um, no, stop, please, no. <laughs> Maybe this time around we can get there fast enough. Give me my suit. No, don't walk underneath rocks like that with the sand going up. That could prove fatal. Immensely fatal. to not get too much Oops! Broke something. Asshole damage. Okay. Well. My bed is at north.
helps to turn on my flashlight. Oh god. Oh god. Let's... Here's the gravity cannon again. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oops. Oh god. So you have to get here really fast if you want to go down there and look at all. You know, I wonder if this lake bed dried up, um, well, it most likely dried up because of the sun, but, uh, like, the fact that it was formed at all, I wonder, uh, how long it was actually there for, ah, death. <sighs> Quantum rocks will never not scare me. It's not because they're actually scary, but just because I never expect them to appear where they actually do. Quite make it up there. If I go that way. I might be able to if I can land on these. No! Well, I made it up here. Here relative to where, though? Oh, hello! <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, God. Yeah, maybe I should go back to my ship. I was like, let's not... Uh, I don't need to go to back, back to my ship. No, I need to go back to my ship. This is now no longer a question of want or need. It is a uh, question of want. It is a question of need. There's such low gravity here. Let's go towards the equator. Like, wait, why don't I have my flashlight on? Please land, please land, please land, please land. Ow! You know, not the worst thing I've ever run my... Uh, face first into. Okay, so this is towards the lake bed. Oh, hi. I'm gonna back away. I do have to question, like, just how long did the Nomai live here? That's the canon. Metal is so pretty. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be able to get to the thing anymore, am I? No, because it was down. So I moved. I've gotten myself in a slightly precarious situation. Ever so slightly. Right! You have to go down through here in order to... I'm so silly. Ow. 
bonk my head. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note, it disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't it a, that a fascinating orbital characteristic? This is my first time encountering a natural uh, satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree, our first step sh uh, would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Found your note, Malore. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. What does does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does it move to appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might form be a form of my. Uh, macroscopic quantum mechanics. So that's not something we've read before. Quantum wind locator is functioning. We have markers for each uh, for each of the places the moon goes. Among Anona, sorry, I completely misread that name. Anona Burr uh I just d observed the quantum move in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for uh, Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the Phantom Moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friend, so this moon travels through a total of five locations, not four. Technically six. So where is the quantum moon now? Where is our friendly little moon? What's this one following? There's Brittle Hollow. There's Dark Bramble. That's Timber Hearth. There's the deep. Huh. Neat. Where's the ship? Oh, the ship's a long way. Sorry about that. I need to change laundry over. Alright, what do we got? Quantum moon locator. I know my device was created to track the quantum moon's location. The know I hypothesize that the quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. The quantum moon travels a total of to a total of five locations. The know my own oh, ember twin the moon that would disappear when no one was watching.
quantum and sometimes disappears, and possibly to an unknown its location. Okay. Oh, and there's something new here, too. Wandering Rock was first spotted at a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Amber Twins North Pole. No, my name is Peleus mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the, of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Which I'm hoping is quantum stuff and not like him getting buried in the sand. Open in the hatch. Oh, I should probably refuel. I didn't realize how low my tank was. My jet fuel. There we go. Now we're better. Oh god! Where am I? Where am I? I'm on Timber Hearth. Departure time, arrival time. Please send me back to the place I was. Okay, good. a little intimidating just walking out and there's suddenly a giant red sun. It's kind of miraculous that the cacti can grow so big and even exist here. not here. No, it's... Oh, God. Like, please let me down. Or maybe I should stay in here. This seems like a nice place. I don't... That's probably glass. I'm probably fine in here. Please pass over quickly. Looks like the ship got sucked up into the thing. Oopsie doodles! It wasn't the worst place to park it, just not also the greatest. For a moment I thought I heard music and I was very concerned. Oh god! move that way a little faster. Oh. So there's more Nomai here.
I'm impressed that their clothing is still intact. Where does this go? Please don't drag me toward the sun. Ow. What is this? Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and idea progressing with the sun station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed, or succeed explosively. Pi... You know I don't find that funny. How curious. Robbie thinks <laughs> I'm a gas and I don't recall requesting that you monitor... What? How curious. Rami thinks I'm a gas and I... I don't recall requesting you monitor this conversation idea. I don't see the state of the matter uh, you are as to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis, time spent away from the station would be beneficial, beneficial to you both. <laughs> I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yarrow. That at least we could agree on. <laughs> okay, so this is not the area that I was exploring last time, which is not good to an extent, Oh god. It can't get me if I'm in here. She lied. Ooh, that was close. Oh god. Let's view this.
I found new stuff. I know I did. We have quantum data now, too. Does it just kind of vanish whenever it wants? Forgot to turn on my flashlight. That could have been a really, really bad. Oh, this is the way to the gravity can. Can and let's go the other way. I doubt I'd be able to see what I want to see. This is the observatory, isn't it? Not the observatory, the lab. Oh god, mm, this is gonna suck. Or not.
Ah, right. I'm impressed about how much of this path I actually remember. Ha! What's this way? This is amazing. Within this guy, inside this cave, how did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. An update: We need to find a way inside quickly, Malore. Um, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave there were children playing inside playing on the specimen from what we can see Coleus and I believe that specimen must be very old indeed imagine what we can, might learn if we could examine it we both agree it's unlikely this dry planet in this horror's place of origin is, is this horror's place of origin especially cons considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through hypothesis there is another entrance to this uh cave if there is Quileus and i will find it we can't leave valuable information undiscovered oh terrifying <laughs> so that's what they meant by putting the thing in the anglerfish's mouth <laughs> Right back up. Stepping stone district. No, darn it, I didn't get here in time, I don't think. Tragic. I haven't been here, I don't think. What's nice about Know My Technology is you can kind of just look at where you need to put things. I honestly think this might be an interesting play uh, playthrough to do in VR. Albeit maybe a little uh, <laughs> nausea in inducing. Oh! These are the small ones. Whoever it uh, was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish line up against one wall, then the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish a blindfold and becomes a little fish. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so we have to wear a blindfold. The, the rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. <laughs> something up there.
Angrif Malori, Angrifish study. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the Angrifish and Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. The Angrifish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. The uh, long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used this growth to attract prey allure. An update, Malore, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing in, playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful! I'm entirely delighted! It's never too early to appreciate biology! That is adorable! Only so much oxygen. Maybe they just had that there. We might be able to start seeing things if we go over. To Ash Twain. Expert landing skills. Oh, right. Anglerfish fossil. Oh, and now we've got... Now my children used to play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against the wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across the other side. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The adult Nomai are delighted to... See the children incorporate their research into the game's rules. It honestly is really cute. This is where I was, right? <sighs> Safety. Right, right. Huh. So there's that. Ah, darn it, busted. I 
Every time I hear the slightest hint of sand shifting, I'm a little scared. It's really sad to see these suits. Oh wait, you can kind of you kind of see the um, the three eyes. It looks like the uh, Ha ha! Oh! Oh wait! No 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 no! Please put me back down on the ground. No 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 Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ashwin project of the High Energy Lab on Amber Twin's equator. I became lost on Amber Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me, uh, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. Imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi uh, would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. If I stand on this, and just wait. <laughs> hmm. Let's go back to the other thing and see. Maybe there's something else along this path that I haven't explored yet. We don't have much time, I don't think. Okay, so this is where I was before. Thank you for the oxygen.
Her ability to use space in different ways is really admirable. It's interesting to think that even at the last moments that maybe these people were doing things. What those things were, we don't quite know. Come on! I want to explore this place more. I wish there was a way to, like, get rid of so there might be another way to get in there. That is a receiving point! So maybe somewhere on Amber Twin, there's a way for us to get in there. <laughs> Sorry, just the emergency <laughs> recall it was really funny. Oh. The Nomai debating debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. The Nomai built something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its construction. The question is That's where we are. I want to go in there so bad. Let's see if we can't. It
get down there fast as possible. Uh, maybe not that fast. Okay, I think I'm in the cave now. It's so hard to see. Let me in there, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Huh. That fills up fast. Go over here, refuel. No, 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 no. No. Uh. <laughs> Nerve wracking. I'd like to not die. How most people explore a planet, how I explore a planet. Ooh, what this?
cave, 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 cave. Which is the one that leads to anglerfish? Okay, so this is just that area. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until another time. Aww. Rock passage isn't there, Sag. Most people, you know, just doing what they do. All oh, me, <laughs> Newman. I am Newman. Newman around at the speed of sound. I'm gonna sit here and wait. And we will see what happens. <laughs> right. I went into my ship and therefore have no flashlight. and have it like teleport
Oh, I want to get into a building real quick. Where's the scout? Oh, I've traveled someplace. Where's the scout? Wait a minute. That's the... What is that? Is that Timber Hearth? That must be. I'm on a place. Okay, so it seems like those two are consistent. <laughs> Please take me somewhere. I'd like to go somewhere. Please. I know I, it has to eventually send me to a place. Terrifying. It's interesting to see the solar flares from this close up. I wonder where this leads, where it would barely ever go there.
maybe it's just there immediately after. I need some oxygen. Over here. This one went to Timber Hearth, if I remember. Wait, no, 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 no. This one, we don't know where it went. We don't know where it went. Time to investigate. Bramble. Oh my gosh! This is how you're supposed to get here? <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> Exit to surface. Hold on, pardon me moi for just a second while I pause. Okay. Michael Forge North. Is there a way to call it from here? I don't think there is. walk off the path. Oh, um... I kind of want to see if I can recreate the thing that happened last time where it looked different. Okay, but that looks cool. Just the way it compounds in upon itself. Okay, no, so that's not how.
It must be that I have to be in the ship. That's a really weird way of phrasing things, me. Alright, well, I'm gonna end it off here and then I'll probably do a little bit more because I really want to know what other things wait for me. So, I pressed the wrong button. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I hope you'll consider giving a like and a subscribe and a ding the bell for notifications on future videos like this. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!